Why am I on this earth? What is this thing called purpose? How am I to live a good Christian life with so many distractions? What is this talk about eternal life? How do I live a purpose-filled life? Who am I in God? How do I live as a single Christian? How do I select a life partner? How can I be vulnerable with God? Does God really care about little me? How do you expect me to love my neighbor as myself? How do I hear from God? Hi, my name is Harira. I'm from Kano State. I'm one of four kids. I was raised a Muslim. Attending TWB and enrolling in Cafe Rouge has literally changed my life. Going for Cafe Rouge, going for the classes, made me want to know more about God and it made me grow, grow as to wanting to know God more wanting to make him happy. Hello guys, my name is Tolu. I work at one of the commercial banks in Nigeria. Two words that come to mind when I think of my Cafe Rouge experience. Enlarging capacity. I was part of the last session of Cafe Rouge. I was a member of Team Cyprus and I was a project coordinator for that group. At the time Cafe Rouge began, I just started a new role at work. And it was a tough job trying to put the two together. Our project involved renovating um, a dilapidated school and also impacting them in their studies and extracurricular activities. It was an amazing experience, a fulfilling one, seeing the lives of young pupils change. The school went from leaking roofs, flooding in the classrooms, um, to a, a healthy um, and safe environment for the pupils. Personally, I gained a lot from it in that it enlarged my capacity. I was able to do much more than I imagined I could do. It required a lot of sacrifice, a lot of teamwork, and a lot of faith because it was an ambitious project. Hi guys, my name is Benedicta. I work in a construction site. Cafe Roach for me has been inspiring. It has impacted deeply in my life and it has helped my work with God. Cafe Roach was more of an interactive section. People bonded and the teachings has helped me grow from the level I was and it has brought me to this stage where I, I try to seek God all the time and knowing what His will and purpose for my life is. It has affected my work in different ways. I get to deal with staff differently. My name is um, MC Prince. Uh, what I do for a living is MC Comedy. I make people laugh when living. I work with the very biggest band in Africa, a leader by himself at 99.3 Nigeria Info. My experience at the Cafe Rouge, trust me, it has been so, so wonderful. Ever since I joined Cafe Rouge, I understood the, dif the difference between being born again and being outside the world and calling yourself just a Christian. Okay, the Bible says if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Even ladies, before they dress, after dressing, they will always put foundation on their face. You know, foundation is very, very necessary. And when I joined, um, when I joined Cafe Rouge, I was made to understand that there's a difference between a Christian and being born again. And it taught us how grace works. And it taught us how you have to be of service to God. Because the gifts you have, He gave them to you. And you have to give them back to Him in service. No matter how busy you are, no matter what you do, you should always create time for your God. You should always give back to the Creator who will give you life. I'm a very busy person. I anchor weddings virtually every Saturday. My Sunday is always fixed. But I actually took out time for God because He gave me that gift. And if you can't give God your time, who will you give it to? You will give it to the devil. I don't see myself coming to church 7 a.m. for what? Are they paying me? But after several lessons from Cafe Rouge, I found out that, man, I really have to do these things. The family Cafe Rouge 300 made me saccharic in nature. They make me. You know, Saka is like Saka, Saka, I MC, and I don't put. They need the pot for my former life to a new life. God bless you, Cafe Rouge. God bless you, the Waterbrook. God bless you, 300. Oh, God bless everyone.